What's new from Let Us Eat? Dollar Tree Freezer Meals continues with crock pot macaroni and cheese. Welcome to my channel. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and this is Let Us Eat where we love the Dollar Tree. In today's Dollar Tree video is going to be another freezer meal that is frugal, child friendly, family friendly, feeds four or more for five bucks or less. Yes, I said five bucks or less. We want to get more bang for our buck. We want to be frugal. We want to lower that food bill and we want to stretch that dollar as far as we can. Things are tight. There are lost wages and incomes, downsize on a family member working. So let's look to the Dollar Tree to see what we can buy instead of buying it at the supermarket or even Walmart. But keep in mind, sometimes Walmart is cheaper. You just got to be a smart shopper and a frugal one. I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to throw it into your crock pot. It is a dump and go meal, my favorite kind. It keeps my hands free so I can get my cleaning done. I can go on location and do some photography, spend time with my husband, and have some free time during the day. Let's turn this camera around and show you what you need. Real simple, you need a box of their elbow macaroni or a couple of bags of their egg noodles a bag of mixed vegetables, two things of the Velveeta cheese from your pantry, salt and pepper. This is one of the few times that I will not be cooking with garlic because if you watch my videos, you know I love my garlic. I'm trying to perfect my camera angles. Sometimes they are not perfect. I'm gonna start by adding my entire box of elbow macaroni. This is the one that's 25% more by Columbia at the Dollar Tree, and it is 20 ounces. Just dump it in. I will show you an aerial view of what this looks like, so you will only need to see it as it's going in. Next up, I'm going to add this entire bag of mixed vegetables. And don't worry if some of them are frozen, because the crock pot will work its magic. This will make it healthy by getting all those vegetables that we need. Then I'm going to season it with three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper or whatever kind of pepper you have on hand. Just gonna eyeball it. I have my crock pot set to low. And if you want, you can preheat your crock pot on low, then turn it to high for about an hour and a half. And then when it starts to bubble, just turn it back to low. And if the noodles are done, you can put it to keep warm. What's wonderful about using the crock pot when you're making freezer meals is you can just pop them in the oven. Now I'm going to be adding in three teaspoons of the salt. And this is sea salt by McCormick's. And then to give that onion flavor, I'm going to add just a teaspoon of onion soup mix. Dollar Tree carries a real cheese. This is found in the condiment section area by the taco mix packets and the soy sauces and everything. And I picked up two of the Velveeta cheese sauces. And you're going to squeeze out all of the cheese as best as you can. I know it's tough getting everything out of these packets. It's tough to get that paste completely out of its can. the second packet. I'm 
Now I'm going to add water into my crock pot to ensure that the pasta cooks thoroughly. And we're going to add it to right above the vegetable line or just below it. So probably about two cups. I'm going to add the water around the rim of the cheese. You don't want to dilute the cheese. So I added in two and a quarter cups of water. Then you're going to mix everything. This is going to be an awesome macaroni and cheese that's flavorful and feed a boatload of people. And if you feel it's not thick enough, in about an hour or so, we can add about a tablespoon of flour to thicken it. Here's what the homemade crock pot macaroni and cheese looks like. And then I'm going to cover this and keep it too low for two to three hours. And as I said, if it's not thick enough, you can add flour to it. This is the macaroni and cheese for your crock pot. It is all done. All the cheese is melted and the elbows are perfect. I am going to scoop it all out and put it into my container. And then we're going to label it with the date for the freezer. I have my container here. I'm going to scoop out all of the macaroni and cheese. and it's gonna cool way down before you put it into the freezer. And this made a ton of food. This will easily feed four with leftovers. Or you can have it for lunch the next day. It's a very good frugal, family-friendly, child-friendly meal for your freezer to save you money, to get that dollar stretched further, and more bang for your buck. Finish scooping this out, and then we're going to label this. And it's very important that you put the date on it, because a lot of the foods that you make for your freezer last anywhere from three to six months. Just Google each meal and it will tell you. That is a tremendous amount of food for $5. You're going to write macaroni and cheese. Today's date, and then you're going to write how to make it. what the food is, the date, and how to cook it is all you need to write on the top. You can use your dry erase marker. So if you use your container again, just wipe off what it is and replace it with the new dinner, the new date, and how to make it. 
thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate everybody who comes to my channel and views my videos and checks me out, checks out my Dollar Tree walls, Dollar Tree dinners, and freezer meal dinners to help you get more bang for your buck, to stretch that dollar further, to save you money. We want to save money. We want to lower our food costs. And Dollar Tree is a great way to do this by buying items that you would normally buy at your supermarket and replacing them with the Dollar Tree items. Nine out of ten times, it's going to be a name brand. You just got to think outside the box. I have made some pretty savvy frugal meals from anywhere to Sloppy Joe's, chicken teriyaki, homemade macaroni and cheese, from all Dollar Tree items. That is frugal. That is family friendly. That is freezer friendly. To give yourself more free time to do the things you love, to be outdoors with your family, doing family activities instead of being in your kitchen all day cooking. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Tap on that bell. Then YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video.